colorful flying kites. Once upon a time, in the vibrant town of Rainbowville, there was a magical park called Sunshine Park. This park was no ordinary park. It was a place where dreams took flight, quite literally, on a sunny Saturday morning. Four adventurous friends named Logan, Milton, Ollie, and Mason decided to visit Sunshine Park for the much anticipated kite carnival. As they entered the park, their eyes widened with delight. The air was filled with laughter, and the sky was painted with a beautiful canvas of kites in every color imaginable. The friends couldn't wait to join the festivities. They hurriedly gathered at the kite station, where a jolly old man named Mr. Whistleton greeted them with a twinkle in his eye. Welcome, young ones. Today is the day we let our imaginations soar high in the sky. He declared, handing each child a special kite. Logan's kite was a dazzling shade of red, while Milton's was a bold, bright blue. Ollie's kite was a cheerful yellow, and Mason's kite was a vibrant orange. The friends were ready to paint the sky with their laughter and colorful. With a whoosh and a flutter, the kites took flight. The children ran and danced, guiding their kites through the open air. The wind whispered secrets to the kites, making them swirl and twirl in the most magnificent dance. As they soared higher and higher, the friends discovered that their kites had magical abilities. Logan's red kite released a shower of candy-colored confetti. Milton's blue kite played a melody that made everyone want to dance. Ollie's yellow kite sparkled like a miniature sun, and Mason's orange kite left a trail of sparkling stars. The children's laughter echoed through Sunshine Park, attracting other kids who joined in the kite extravaganza. The sky became a living world of colors, laughter, and amazement. Suddenly, a mischievous gust of wind swept through the park, causing a whirlwind of giggles and excitement. The children's kites performed dazzling acrobatics, creating a breathtaking aerial display. The friends held onto their kite strings with all their might, determined not to let their magical kites escape. As the sun began to set, Mr. Whistleton gathered the kids for a special treat. He conjured up a table covered with rainbow-colored snacks and fizzy fruit drinks. The children sat together, exchanging stories of their kite adventures and munching on treats that tasted like happiness. As the day came to a close, the children thanked Mr. Whistleton for the magical kites and the unforgettable day. With smiles on their faces and hearts full of joy, Logan, Milton, Ollie and Mason left Sunshine Park, already planning their next event. And so, in the beautiful town of Rainbowville, the legend of the kite carnival at Sunshine Park lived on, a tale that brought smiles to children's faces for generations to come.